It's Philip Edge. Today, what I wanted to do, I wanted to share Colin Powell's just in honor of Colin Powell. Colin Powell had 13 rules of leadership. And I just wanted to share those 13 rules of leadership with those of you who are watching. They, I, I think they are good, good things to really grasp and really just hold on to and understand, man, when we think about just leadership. Now, now here's the thing. If you are leading anybody, you need to pay close attention to these 13 rules right now because these are the 13 things that, that Colin Powell said that, that he he lived by. Now, I know some of you are like, well, am I a leader? Am I a leader? Listen, yes, we're all leaders. And given any um, given the right circumstances, we can all be leaders. So if, if you're not necessarily leading people right now, that doesn't matter because you got to lead yourself, right? you got to lead yourself. So, but let me, let me get to Colin Powell's 13 rules of leadership, and I think all of them are good, but I want to start rule number one. You see it on the screen right there. It ain't as bad as you think. It will look better in the morning. And now that right there, yeah, that 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 needs one of those right there. It, it, it look, it, it ain't as bad as you think. Now I don't know where you are. I don't know what you got going on right now. But but somebody needs to hear and understand that it's not as bad as you think. And honestly speaking, tomorrow is going to show up. And when tomorrow shows up, yeah, guess what? It's gonna be better in the morning, right? I know even right now, some of you, you're hurt, you're down, you're, you're trying to fight this quote unquote depression. And like, like literally, you think it's bad, but but here's the thing: you woke up today, and every day we wake up, we have this thing called opportunity. So I'm just sharing with you right now: it ain't as bad as you think. And and, and let me even take it a step further: it could be worse. Like, like it, it could be worse. I had a friend of mine, he just went over to Africa and he, and he was talking to me about um, some of the, 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 the country that he went to in Africa. And he was talking about like, like, man, like some of the, those folks, they, they made little to nothing. Like running water is a privilege. He talked about like, like, honestly, before he went, he was looking, he's like, man, you know, my house, is, it's not that much. But when he got over there and, and he saw some of the things that people were living in and some of the things that people had to go through again, he came back with a different perspective. Why? Because he said, you know what? It's really not as bad as you think. And I, I really want to share that because that is rule number one from, from Colin Powell. Rule number two, get mad, then get over it. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of a scripture that I, I, I read in this, this old book. It said, be angry, but sin not. I mean, there's this book that I read, you know, from Tom to Tom, and, and that's the kind of thing that it speaks about, right? Get mad, but get over it, man. I mean, time is too short. Time is too short, and we don't got time to be staying mad and staying frustrated. We got we to gotta continue to press and focus in on, man, on life and living it to the best of our ability. So listen, get mad. But go ahead and get over it. Rule number three, avoid having your ego so close to your position that when your position falls, your ego goes with it. Ooh, wee, that is so good. Quit trying to be the position. Quit trying to tie everything with the position, right? Like, like literally, you got to be able to separate those two. You are so much more than the position and quit trying to tie everything in to the position. That's rule number three. Number four, I love number four, it can be done. Somebody needs to catch that one right there. You need to, yeah, you, you need to catch that one right there. It can be done. I don't care what it looks like. It can be done. And listen to me, somebody's doing it right now. And if you don't do it, somebody will do it. So you may as well go forward and go do it because it, it, it can be done. You may have to figure it out. You might have to play with some things. You may have to experiment a little bit. But listen, it can be done. So listen, whatever that thing is right now that you're thinking about that you want to do, I'm sharing this with you go do it go do it step out in faith and go do the thing because you have everything you need to see it to pass to see it get done so get on out there and get that thing done because it can be done rule number five be careful what you choose you might just get it right be careful wait but that, that's that mm. yeah that, that one's fire right there be careful what you choose because you just might get it. i tell people all the time are you sure that's what you want are you sure that's what you want because whatever you want that will come to pass especially if you stand believing in faith and believing that you're gonna get that thing so you gotta always ask yourself are you sure this is what you want and oh yeah by the way quit selling for less than that ain't even one of the rules but i i just felt like i need to share that with somebody watching us right now quit settling 
for less than. Quit settling for, for less than you deserve. Quit settling for less than you're able to attain. Quit settling and go get it. But be careful because whatever you choose, you might just get. Rule number six, don't let adverse facts stand in the way of a good decision. Mm, that was, mm, that, yeah, I felt that in my shana now right there. Don't let adverse facts stand in the way of a good decision when you get locked in and if you believe it, it can happen. Let me say it again. If you believe it, it can happen. And just because you haven't seen it happen doesn't mean that it's not able to happen. It just means that you ain't done it yet. So so, so don't let people steer you wrong and tell you that it can't happen or it can't be done. Because I'm telling you right now, I believe that it can. I believe that it can. So, so don't let adverse facts stand in the way of the good decision. Make a decision, stand on it, and keep on going. Rule number seven, you can't make someone else's decision. You shouldn't let someone else make yours. Woo wee. Right? You can't you can't change nobody's mind and you can't force anybody to do anything. So, quit trying to do that and quit trying to allow, uh, quit allowing people to do that towards you. It's your life, it's your decision and you need to make those decisions and rock with that thing. Rule number 8, check the small things, y'all. Y'all, it it's never the big things that that take us off course. It's always the little things. It's all. It's always the ants of your life. We're so busy focusing on all the big things, but the ants are stealing all the food from the refrigerator, y'all. So, so be careful about the small things and make sure you check those things because that's where the difference happens. It happens in the small things. Rule number nine, share credit. You didn't do it all by yourself. You didn't do it all by yourself. And since you didn't do it all by yourself, make sure you share credit with everybody else. Rule number 10, remain calm and be kind. I like that. Remain calm. Let me say it this way. Chill. Right? Just, just, just chill out. Don't, don't get so overexerted, man, and overexert yourself. Just remain calm and be kind to people, man. Be kind to people. And, and number 10 or number 11 right there, have a vision and be demanding. Have a vision. In fact, have the vision, write the vision, make the vision plain, but be demanding on the thing that, that, that you, you, you can see. Because remember, if you can see it, you can believe it, and you can achieve it, but you have to be able to see it first. So have a vision and be demanding of that vision. Number 12, don't take counsel of your fears or naysayers, right? So <laughs> there are so many people right now, y'all, and they are literally praying on your downfall. They're praying for your downfall. They want to see your downfall. So don't worry about your haters, and don't worry about those fears. Literally, keep on pushing and keep on going forward because that is the direction of the thing that you want in life. So we got to keep on going there. And then rule number 13, perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. That is good. That is good. Perpetual optimism. That means when and you can see it and you can believe it and you can stand on it there is something that happens that that perpetual optimism that's literally like like compound interest of your life like the compound interest of your life that's that optimism did you all know that that literally when you are positive positivity can change the environment there are, are studies um uh, a lady her name is Barbara Fredrickson she actually has a book that she wrote on this very thing and and she's talking about this and talking about how literally positivity can change the game. They they did it. They did some research on doctors and they gave doctors like just some candy, just simple candy. And when they gave doctors the candy, the doctors who they gave the candy to, they made positive diagnosis. I forgot a large percentage of the time more quickly and more effectively just by having something positive, right? A little piece of candy. They did the same survey with little kids, right? And they were doing little block tests and they told the kids to think of something that makes you happy. And kids thought of like jello or something like that, right? Jello put pops. Anyways, but so, so they thought about things that made them happy. And in thinking about things that made them happy, they fared so much better on the test. Why? Because their mindset was in the right frame of mind. Positivity. That perpetual optimism, it is a force multiplier, and it is a big thing. So listen, 
in honor of Colin Powell, General Colin Powell, wanted to share his 13 rules of leadership with you. I think they're really, really good. And I think if you can take just, just take a couple of these things right here, because it's, it's good. Go on a snapshot, a little picture of this right here, because I'm telling you right now, this right here and taking rules like this and living them out, this is something that I truly believe can really shift and change your life.